Hi there, I'm April Sautel and welcome to my channel. So all I'll be doing today is taking all of these scraps and getting them cut down to size. All I want to do is put two straight lines on it. I just want a whole bunch of rectangles. Doesn't matter what size they are. My favorite way to sew is working with scraps. I absolutely love it. There's just something so satisfying about working with scraps. I like to work with scraps. I like to work with recycled fabric. I like to work with other people's scraps. It's just so much fun. I have a lot of fabric, don't get me wrong, but there's nothing like me going to my scrap bins. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. What you're going to be needing for today's project, I've got a big ruler, a rotary cutter, scissors, I've got a pile of scraps, I've got my iron and my iron and mat use a rotating mat if you wanted to. I have one that's small enough that it could be used as a rotating mat. I'm not sure if I'll use it or not, but I have it here just in case. All it is, it's just a regular mat that I can spin around as I'm going if I decide I want to use that. I can just spin it just like that. I'm going to be cutting these down into a variety of strips, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is just get these pressed out. That's all I'm going to worry about right now. And I'm just going to get them piled up here. I'm just going to stay, keep them stacked up and just keep ironing. I will be using steam for this. You're going to just want to have your scraps lay nice and flat. So far these ones are not really that bad. Sometimes you'll get some really wonky ones. And this one has a seam in it. I probably will, oh yes, I will cut that seam out because that has a tag in it. Sometimes I'll leave the seam in depending on what I'm doing for a project. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this one right here right now because it's already a rectangle. So it's just dangling off the side of the scrap. There, I've got my pile of scraps all pressed and ready for the next step. Now it's time for the fun part. I've got all of the strips pressed. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to just start picking out any pieces that already make the cut. So this, for instance, if I just pull these seams out, so these ones already make the cut. I'm not looking to have any perfect size. I'm just looking for some straight edges to have rectangles. I don't care if they're wonky on the ends. Because all I want to do is just make piles. And the way that I'm going to be doing this, I'm just going to start layering. So these ones are perfect. I'll set these aside. This one is too small. I'm not going to be using this one. So that will go back in the scrap bin. I'm looking for rectangles, okay? So, and it doesn't matter what size it is. I just need the straight edges. So this particular piece, I don't want the black. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this yellow to be a rectangle. Now this one I can't layer because it's just a little bit too wonky. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to slice that off. That's about as thin as I'm going to want to go for lining these up. All right, so I'm going to do the same to this one. I'm going to work right here on this bottom strip. And again, I'm not going to layer right yet because I just need to get this cut down. I don't care about the seams. That will be fine. But I want to get this as fairly straight of a rectangle as I can. Remember, I don't care what size it is. Okay, I've got that piece off right now. Now, I've got this piece straight. I just want to flip this around and I'm just going to go ahead while I've got this right here and I'm going to trim this piece. I'm just taking any line and lining it up on that straight side that I already made. And then I'm just going to trim that edge off. So now this piece is going to make the cut. And it is stringy because that's what you get when you work with scraps. So I'm going to just start lining these ones up. Let's go back to this one just to finish this piece up. So I'm going to cut, because I'm not going to use the black, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just cut this off there and this off there. So now I'll start working on this little piece. These ones can go right back in the scrap bin. So now I'm going to take this one. I'm not going to use this bulky seam in it, so I'm just going to trim that down. I'll bring it right up to the of this piece here. 
slice that off. So I'm going to come to the innermost point here. And you can see the innermost point is right here at this tip. So I'm just going to make that straight all the way down and I'll slice that right there. <laughs> now that's a really skinny strip. I'm going to put it in my pile, but I don't know if I'll use it or not, but it'll be there. Now just look at your strips. This one is already fine. I like this one. That's going to go in my pile. This one's fine. This one just needs a press on that little corner right there. So I'll just straighten that one out a little bit. And on this corner too. This little strip here is that little one I just cut. And I didn't realize it had that little tear there. So I'll just cut that off right there. I'm going to go through this pile and I'm going to just start picking out the ones that have two straight edges. So this one, I can see, again, I'm not measuring, but I want it straight-ish. You can see the bottom. I've got it lined up right here on the map, nice and straight on the bottom. I'll just take the ruler to the innermost point, which is here, line that up, and I'll cut that off right there. And I'll stack that right on top of my pile. So I'm going to go through all of these and just start picking out the ones that are already set to go with this pile. So I've already got the ones that were already good enough as rectangles or that I've already cut down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start layering these. So these are pretty similar in size. I'm going to stack them into fours. This is a pretty good rectangle, but it is much wider on this side. The bottom edge is actually going to need a trim too because that's all the salvage edge. So I'm going to overhang that. I won't use this one because then I'll cut too much off these bottom ones. So I'm going to come back to this one. Let's go ahead and lay this one down. I just want to keep them fairly similar in size while I'm making this particular cut so I don't waste much fabric. So this whole selvage edge is also going to get cut off. So I'm going to overhang that to the, toward the bottom. Okay, I've got my four pieces of fabric. I can see them all except this down here. But I already know that that's the innermost edge over here too. So I can see that fine. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to just line this one up to the innermost edge over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that right there. So this will all go back in the scrap bin and then I can line this up. I put this lower. When I make my cut, I can just account for that. So I'm just going to go like this to be sure to cut all the salvages off. I've got all the salvages here. We'll discard those. I got four pieces in one. I'm not going to worry about the salvage edges because I know the quilt that I'm going to be working with are going to be like strip quilts and they're going to be scrappy and I'm going to be overhanging on a foundation piece. So I'm going to leave all of that for now. There's just no need for me to cut any of the wonky sides. This one's pretty wonky here and this one. So I'm going to lay them together. I just want to straighten this out a little bit. I'm going to try, try laying it on my mat and seeing what I've got to do here. I've got to cut from both sides. For fun, I'll just put my ruler right on my guide here on the mat because I can see both edges are above the mat. So I'm just going to take that off there. Now this is probably cut on the bias, so it's very wonky. And I really don't want it to be all wonky like that. So I'm going to do the same here. To get rid of that curve in the fabric, we'll just cut it right off right there. Now I could have stacked four there because that's what I said I was going to do and I forgot to do that. So there was just two. We've got those in our pile. This one here just has a really big bow in it and I want to get rid of that bow. Okay, let me just grab a few more of these. This one looks good. This one just needs a little trim. So I'm going to put this one on the bottom and I'm going to lay it more in the center of it. That way it will come out nice and straight. I think I'm going to cut this one down a little bit because it's just so long. I don't want to cut it, it being that long. And I think this yellow one, I'm going to just cut that end off too because I just don't need that to be that long. All right, so I'm going to use these four pieces. So I'm just going to bring this to the innermost edge here, which is here. Okay, and then I'm going to just start cutting. I'm going to lay my ruler on it so it's nice and straight. I'll just find one spot to guide me, which will be the edge. Okay, that will give me one straight cut and I'm doing no measuring. And I can put this right into my scrap bin. So as far as the rotating mat goes, instead of picking this fabric up and spinning it, I'm just going to move this mat around. 
and this is just a regular mat. All right, now all I'm gonna do is line, one line up, keep myself straight. I'm gonna come into the innermost piece here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this a slice. These two are nice and straight, but this one, you can see it's still a little curvy here. So I could do two things here. I could cut this down even more and straighten that out. Let me show you that. So you can see I've got the innermost piece, I'm on it, and I've lined myself up with my line on my ruler. I could trim that right off right there, depending how big you need these strips. Instead of wasting all this, you could just cut this off like right here and you could have this be the wider strip so you can make that decision you know what I am gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna make a cut right here there that side's still wonky this side is straight this will just go back into my scrap bin that way these are a little bit wider and I wasted less fabric you can see the pile is growing you can see that I've used ones with seams skinny ones wide ones Depending on what you're doing, you can make them all the same size strips or you can just make them all different size strips like I'm doing. I can still layer this one. I've got this really big one here on the bottom and I've got no straight edges. So this one has no straight edge. It's still curved, but I can bring this up you know, to the lowest point here. I can just lay that there because I know I'm going to make a straight line right across here. Let's lay another one down. So you don't have to be starting with a straight line at all. And we'll lay this one this way. And I'm going to lay it as close as I can to the edge. So now I'm way over hanging over here, but that's okay because when I cut, I'm going to cut this off too. And let's lay one more. Let's lay this orange one down because I don't want this one to be this wide. So I'll lay that right on top as well, up as close as I can. And I'm just going to take my ruler, slide it on to the lowest point, straighten one line here. I'll use one line as a guide. So this will be my guide over here. I'm going to slice right there. So you can see here, you can get a lot of scraps cut up at one time by using this method. You don't have to cut them one at a time. So now I'm just going to slice that off. For this one, I'm going to leave these ones wide and I'm going to turn my mat. For this one, let's go like this. This will give me a variety of sizes. I'm going to bring my ruler up to the innermost here, which is right here. Bring that up. Now, not all the layers are underneath this. They only are on one side, but that's okay because I can make decisions after. So now I'm just going to line this cut here. I will line that up on one line on my ruler. I'm using this white line right here. I'm going to slice this right here. All right, now you can see this one is perfect. This one needs the sides cut, which, remember, I'm not going to worry too much about the sides right at the moment. I'm just looking for two straight edges. This one is great, and this one is great. Now, this one is great, meaning if you want to, just to get rid of that, you can just cut that off depending on what you're doing for a project. I wanted a variety of sizes, so now I've got my variety here, and they're gonna be straight this way. That's what I'm looking for. So once you've cut all of your strips down, the possibilities are endless. But now it's like having all new fabric again. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember to keep it simple. Have a great day, bye. Say bye, little Miss Ready's Ready.